it did look good. Man. That's right where they usually sit. We're about mid-March right now. And uh, anybody that lives in Buffalo knows it's been a warm March. Haven't really had a lot of water in these creeks. And so uh, everybody's kind of been wondering if we're going to get a good spring run or what it's going to look like exactly or what's going on really. But good to hear there's some fish coming into the creek still. We are actually in the lower this morning, the lower Niagara, fishing in Devil's Hole. And uh, went seven for, I think, 10 or 11. I couldn't keep a fish on the hook. I ended up getting three. My dad got four. And uh, that was a pretty good morning, though, for us down there. And I figured I'd go fishing again this afternoon. I, I can't not go fishing when it's... 40 degrees out and sunny in March. A lot of times in the slower water like this, you'll see the fish, you know, when they're moving around, they'll kind of come up and porpoise. I haven't seen anything like that. And definitely in the spring like this, you want to be mobile. You really don't want to be stuck in one spot because a lot of the fish are, they're bunched right up close uh, with each other. And because uh, they're trying to spawn, it's that time of year, they're all kind of getting close to each other, getting ready to go on a red or something like that. And so you really don't want to be married to one spot. And you also want to fish, you know, different types of water. I've fished two spots now. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Got him. Fish on. That's how it's supposed to happen with the camera on, guys. Ooh, this looks like a good fish. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Nice cromer. Get right down in here. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. She's in the hoop. Whew. All right, guys. Whew. Hey, 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 hey. That's a really nice first fish right there. Let's see if we can get that hook out of her. Alright guys, that was a first fish of the afternoon for me. That was a nice female and she's still got eggs in her. Which, that makes me extra happy that she's still got eggs. It's one of the few fish I've seen other than, other than the lower that aren't spawned out. It's actually so. just getting ready to pack up and head out, but gotta give it a little bit longer now I guess. But super sluggish bite too, I think you guys saw the bobber down. Or some you set the hook, at least the float was way down there. I'm guessing it didn't pick it up, but the float kind of just really gently just kind of sags down. But I'll take it. She swallowed it good, so. Alright, guys. Well, back to walking. I think I've fished that spot for just a little bit too long, but. Whatever. Go to, there's two holes down here. I'll go to everyone it's not at. So, and I'm gonna go down to this shoot along the bank here. It's got a really nice gravel tail out in it. Could be a bunch of fish back on it getting some sun.
guys. Push that towel out for five or ten minutes. And uh there's a decent walk. Let's see if we can find some new water to fish. Alright, I'm liking what I'm seeing already. I have no idea what this is gonna hold. If anything. But we are exploring at this point. Some really nice gravel for spawning. Really nice. Looks like we're gonna get a little bit of depth. Oh, you know. Looks like it's getting a little deeper. That yeah, far side looks real good too. Over in there. That looks pretty good. Right about there. Get out of the water right here. Hop up on this. Hop on this bank. Pretty cool area right through there. But sure is a lot of water to cover right there by myself. So I'm gonna hop up here and uh, go find the next spot. Oh, there we go. I'm looking for shed antlers too. <laughs> I'm sure there's some sheds somewhere down in here. I'm going to try this chute right here for a minute. Pull of faithful, put chartreuse on there. And uh, we'll try to feather a couple down through the center. I haven't caught a single fish in some fast water today. Um, so I might start to eliminate um, some of that water, but I think I'm going to make sure make my way right out over here and fish right against those, right against these trees. That kind of looks shallow. I was just crossing here, and uh, this is probably the third or fourth rut I've seen right through this uh, section. So. A lot of fish have definitely spawned. There ought to be some fish, you know, laying in a hole close by. Uh, they'll finish spawning up uh, up on this gravel and they'll drop back into a hole. And uh, it could be some pretty good fish and they get real aggressive uh, and territorial. Holy crap, guys. Like I pretty... got one. Little guy. Jeez. I think we're just going to grab this guy. Little chromed up jack. Okay, now I'm soaked. Now I'm soaked. Okay. I gotta wipe off the camera because of you. All right. I have to grab this guy here. I would not be surprised if there's a bigger fish laying up in there. Very nice little jack. I'll get him right back. Here he goes. I was in that spot I had just broken off I was kind of just you know I fished it for another you know five drifts or so and uh, I decided I'd just kind of walk and fish and uh, before it went down that little dude crushed it but what I think might be going on here I wouldn't be surprised if there was a bigger fish uh, laid up in here
There's one. There's big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh come on. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Big fish, guys. That's a, that's a real big fish. Come on. Come on. Oh my God, guys. This is like a 12 pounder. I gotta get the net off me. I can't get the net off. Oh God, it's all wrapped. All wrapped. Oh, and it's a chromer. Big chrome. Come here. Come here. Oh, this is so hard by myself. Oh my God, come here. Come here. Come here. Nets all wrapped. Nets all wrapped. Wait, oh my God. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Guys. Oh, what a pig. What a pig. Yeah. Oh, man. What a freight train that is. All right, guys. This is a good fish right here. This made the work the walk worth it. Get that leaf off of her. Oh yeah. That's a good fish right there. I mean that's a that's a freight train for for uh this time of the year. And it's a, actually a male. Whew! Awesome. We're gonna get this fish right back in the drink. Get her right back. It's, oh, right now. Oh, I'm soaked. Oh. Oh. Let me wipe that camera off and wipe my face off. <laughs> I'm soaked. What the heck? Man. That was awesome. You guys saw that whole thing. This is just a side shoot, really. Um, I'll go more in depth here in a second what I'm doing, but. That was crazy. That made the walk, the walk worth it right there. Um, and that was a big male. I wouldn't be surprised there's a female sitting there. She's probably moved around. Uh, that fish really put up a fight as you guys saw, but um, that was awesome. So, all right, fish number three. Let's keep trying to get number four. So here we go. I don't remember what color egg sac that was. I want to say it was pink, but I could be wrong. Whew. Oh jeez, I'm all screwed up. That, that, that one got my heart pumping, that's for sure. All right, buckle back up. All right, back to it. I mean, it's that was a pretty crazy spot. You guys saw the whole thing. I was literally, I was starting to walk out of the end of the hole, and it just pounded it. It was right about, right about there. It freaking just crushed it. I can't ask for much better than that. There's nobody around. I got this whole section to myself, really. And, uh, oh man, that, that's not good. I'm gonna pan off. Now I'm just trigger happy. <laughs> but I love this Riversider rod, guys. So one of their float rods, 13 piece. And uh, head over to Buffalo Tackle and 10% uh, off there with code Will's World. Get ten percent off uh, at your purchase. So, hope that helps you guys out. If you're gonna pick up a rod, they got floats, and then they got a bunch of walleye stuff as well, and a whole bunch of packs and storage stuff. So they got a whole bunch of stuff to pick out from. Um, we've been working with them for a little while now. Real cool guys. All right, I think I've walked on to my next spot here. Oh man. This is a pretty deep. Running. Oh my god, I'm slipping and sliding. Walked onto a pretty nice looking spot over there. Right along that far bank. Oh, the bugs. That far bank looks awfully good. Come on, fish. Be one over there. Fishy, fishy. It's great. The amount of tires in this creek <laughs> just blow me away. I mean, it's like every little slow spot has. Like, there's a tire right here. 
I about stepped on that one. I think half the structure in this creek are tires. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. We are fishing some urban stuff today. We're just out of the city. Oh, there's another guy right there. And, uh, obviously a lot of people throw their garbage into the creek. <laughs> so, whatever, it happens. I wish it wasn't looking like this, but that's all right, whatever. Nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> oh, it's like a chromer too. There we go, guys. I'm hooked up. I gotta get that net. That was actually on pink. Yeah, pink. There we go. A little chromer. <laughs> All right, guys, fish number four for me. Pretty nice fish. We'll get this guy right back. Nice chromer. Hey, Joe, see you later. Awesome, number four. Can't complain with how today is going, that's for sure. All right, we'll get picked back up here and hopefully get another one. So we're at the next spot here. Give this a few drifts, it looks pretty good. Um, but don't go walking right up to it, you know? Stay back a minute, fishing close, and look at that, that's deep, you know? Don't go marching right up in there. Those fish could be sitting right at your feet and you don't even know it. So uh, just take caution with that, a little tip there. And then once you either see that it's shallow, you know, walk right out there. Oh, tree branch in there. Mm. Lost it all. Man, oh man, guys. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh. And I don't really... I don't really know how to get out of here. <laughs> to be completely honest with you guys. I've been fishing or going to a fishing spot since about 5.30 this morning. So talk about, I'm a bit All right, tired. so I appreciate you guys tuning into this video. I uh, remember anything uh, Sheffield, Riversider, or uh, Challenger lures or 3D worm harnesses. 10% off, code Will's World, and uh, use that purchase and you'll get the, the discount. So, hope that helps you guys out on a little bit cheaper tackle. And uh, I'm gonna make my way back to the truck. I am, I'm beat, I'm tired. It's been a long day, so. All right, appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.